Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I have another Transformers Robots in Disguise review for you today. This is Ultra B. And basically these are kind of similar to the Crash Combiners that I've already reviewed except that instead of two cars that smash together to form one larger robot, you have four cars slash dinosaur that <laughs> combine together to form a larger robot. Uh, and then I think this technically this is a fifth character as the sword, but... We'll get to that in a minute. So pretty tall packaging here. This was about $29.99 at Toys R Us. That's where I found it. Um, you can see it's Bumblebee, Grimlock, Strongarm, and Sideswipe. And they're also down here on the, on the bottom if you didn't see them there. So side of the packaging shows Grimlock and Sideswipe. This side shows Bumblebee and Strongarm. Not anything really on the top or the bottom. Shows you down here. Uh, Menasaur is another one in the same size class and then Prime Strong is from the two uh, Crash Combiners that we've already taken a look at so that's one of the two packs. Uh, taking a look at the back just kind of shows you all four combined together shows you the individual robots and vehicle modes over here and then the usual app game jargon that's usually on there um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the packaging. It's nice packaging, uh, but fairly simplistic, but nice. So let's go ahead and get everything out of the packaging and we'll take a closer look. So this is everything you get in the box. I decided to start with the alt modes just because they're, most of them anyway, are more impressive than the robot modes. Uh, real quick, here is the sword. Now apparently this is supposed to be drift Although I don't really know what would give you that impression. I guess there's kind of a creepy face molded here into the hilt of the sword. He looks like he's screaming. I don't know I don't know if that's supposed to be his face or not, but kind of creepy. Then it has these two red pegs on both sides, and you'll see what they're for later on. Uh, otherwise, it's a fairly decent molded sword. Not a lot of paint or anything going on, but decent sword there. Uh, there is a hinge here where the orange part meets the dark gray or black piece, so it can bend. I guess if you... I really have no idea what this bend is for. I, <laughs> You'll see when we get into the combined robot mode. It doesn't really make sense. Um, yeah, I, don't, I really don't know what it's for. So anyway, we're going to put this off to the side for a second. Uh, we'll take a look at Grimlock first. All right, so here's Grimlock in T-Rex mode. Although really it's half T-Rex, half robot mode because you can really just see the whole kind of robot mode <laughs> hanging off the back, sad to say. Um, now the directions show something going on with the sword in his legs. And you can kind of use the red tabs of the lower set of red tabs to kind of feed in here and just kind of like loosely flop around in there. I, I've been looking at the directions for a while now and I really can't figure out what it's talking about when it says split this open. I mean this whole thing does split open just like that. But there are no grooves or anything inside here. I mean there are these big tabs here which will peg into the giant robot hands later. I thought for sure maybe they would peg in somewhere so you could kind of put this in and then they'd sandwich together like you know maybe right in here there would have been a perfect place to peg it in but no nothing like that I really don't understand what the directions mean when they say to split that open put the sword in and then click it back into place I really don't know so like I said you can kind of put those in that channel and they'll loosely stay there but I mean really loosely but maybe you can Pretend he's wagging his tail back and forth. I don't know. The directions also show something something in this region flipping around. And I don't know what they're talking about because this is going to be the hip joint in the robot mode. So there's nothing that can flip. These are all solid pieces. I don't know what the directions are talking about. I mean, Hasbro directions as of late have kind of been notoriously terrible as far as not making any sense. I was playing around a little bit and the only thing I could think of, and this kind of works, if you rotate these pieces around, 
which you'll do later on when you need this connector, you can kind of take the sword and I'm going to zoom in here so you can see this. You can see how there's a like real thin piece of black plastic there. You can kind of clip the sword so that the little groove right here fits onto that black piece of plastic. And then the tab that I showed you earlier on the side of the sword that pegs into the hand, you can kind of put these pieces down so that these little cutouts right where my finger is will kind of fit on top of that and kind of hold it in place and when you do that if I have this correct it'll stay pretty solid so that kind of works it looks a little weird because he has these big humps on the back of his tail but it will hold the sword pretty snugly in place I don't know if that's what they meant to do I really have absolutely no idea but it looks all right and it kind of works so however you want to attach the sword is really up to you or throw the sword to the side and don't worry about it <laughs> that's also an option uh, either way the tail for Grimlock in dino mode does not look great or good really at all so there you go. Uh, let's concentrate on the front, because that actually kind of looks like a dinosaur. I would have loved if the jaw was painted silver. I feel like that's all you would really need. The blue eye is nice. The gold here on the crest is nice. Just paint this black or silver or something. Just to, Or even maybe paint the teeth if he left everything else and painted the teeth. Just need something else in this area. Uh, these little dino hands can move uh, pretty much all the way around except for what's hindered because of you know the other pieces in the way and then you have movement here you have movement here and that's pretty much it for dino mode so transformation into robot mode like I said you can pretty much already see most of it right here I'm gonna zoom out a little bit uh, basically what you're going to do is fold this down I think you have to split it apart to get this to work but you kind of have to wiggle this a little bit to the side and then this will fold completely down what am I doing wrong here oh there's there's two joints in here there's one here and one here you have to make sure it's folded both ways there you go and then that'll fit very nicely in there so make sure you rotate this all the way or else it won't work so there you go you need the 90 degree bends in the joint so then once that's pushed in like that and you can see how flush it looks on both sides then you'll come in here and this will rotate out that's gonna be your head and then you're gonna do another piece on this side that's gonna be like a shoulder blade kind of and then you will peg this together and it will all snap and then that's pretty much about 90% of the robot mode. You can come to the inside of the hand right here and fold out little hands. It's just a little bit easier said than done. There you go. Just like that. Very, 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 very simple hands. And I don't mean simple as in to get out. I mean simple as in the design, what they do. It's all very simple and not that amazing. But it's better than nothing. I'm glad they did something because just the di back of the dino's heel would have been really lame. So that's it. That is your Grimlock robot mode. Not even as tall as the sword, but the sword's pretty big, I have to say. Um, I guess you could... I guess you could do that. You could come up with something to put the sword in that channel in there, just to store it. He can't really wield it, because there's no way to connect it to his hand or anything. But, maybe if I just kind of balance it in here? No? No, it doesn't work. 
put that off to the side. Uh, so the face is actually painted pretty decently. The gold's nice. The blue eyes are nice. The molding's good. I like the frown. The green on the chest is nice. And then it's just black after that. All black. And then you just have the big T-Rex on his back. But I feel like that integrates in fairly decently. So yeah, that's really it. That's all there is to show for this guy. Let's move on to Strong Arm and Side Swipe. Alright, Strong Arm and Side Swipe. Uh, side Swipe I feel like looks okay. Because this is kind of what his car normally looks like. It's mostly red with the windows painted black. So that's kind of what we've come to expect. Strong arm, we've kind of come to expect some white on the sides of the doors or something. So she looks kind of plain. Pretty much solid blue. Windows are painted, which is nice. And they went as far as to paint the light bar on top. So better than nothing, I guess. But very simplistic. I mean, they roll well. They actually roll pretty pretty well. Strong arm especially rolls really, really well. Um... But they're okay. For little cars, for kids to play with, I think they're fine. Um, they work. Transformation, blink and you'll miss it. Pull the arms out a little bit. They don't even really stay out that far. That's it. Side swipe, slightly more intricate. Oops, that's not the right piece. This whole piece flips down so it can stand up. Pull the arms out a little bit. Not really that great. <laughs> I feel like the individual crash combiners had slightly better robot modes. Slightly. I know that doesn't count for much. Again, heads are painted pretty nicely. The gold on the crest is nice. The silver, the blue eyes. Yellow on the chest, not bad. Uh, side swipe, same deal. Silver face, blue eyes, looks good. Even if the arms could just pull out a little bit farther and stay out, I feel like that would have been something, but it is what it is. They're okay at best. Transformation's real fast, though. Boom. Done. Done. Super quick transformations. <laughs> so kids should love that. Yeah, that's really, that's all there is for these guys. All right, Bumblebee. He looks alright as far as car mode goes. He's got a little bit of blue here on the front. Windows are painted black. Not too bad for as far as robot kibble goes on the back. You can kind of see the arms. Uh, yeah. So, transformation. Well, let's see. First of all, he rolls pretty well. I always appreciate that. Arms are going to fold out on these joints you can see them back here so you just kind of whoop the head popped out get back in there you my head yeah the head on mine I should say <laughs> not my head personally the head on mine pops out pretty easily and then you take these little front pieces and you just rotate them around the back just like that and then you pop the head out just like that. So there's Bumblebee. He's not that great. If only the arms could rotate forward a little bit, I feel like that would be a huge deal. But again, heads painted decently. Silver and blue. Uh, overall, robot mode, not that strong. But it's eh. He's probably, well, I don't know. Grimlock might have the best robot mode just as far as actually looking like a robot with defined arms and legs. And then you got these little guys who don't really have any kind of defined arms and legs. And you can also get a sense of the size comparison in robot mode. And plus Grimlock's easily got the best articulation with the arms and he's even got some elbow movement. The other guys really have nothing. So I would say Grimlock's probably the best robot mode, then probably B, and then these two tie for last. But 
that's not the reason we got this thing. We did not get it for the individual robot modes. We got it for the combined robot mode. So let's go ahead and start getting into that. All right, so first off, you're going to take your Grimlock. You're going to split him down the middle again. Why is he not splitting? There we go. I'm just kind of afraid I'm going to break it. So you're going to push these in just like that. You're going to turn them around. You're going to take these feety pieces and you're going to rotate it around to the back and then just kind of rest it against. There you go. Now you can see these are going to be hips. And you also have a little bit of a thigh swivel there, so that's nice. You're going to take this, rotate the fists back in. Then you're going to just kind of fold these up, and then this whole piece is going to rotate underneath. So fold that up, rotate underneath, and that's kind of your feet. There you go. You have a lower body legs with a waist however you want to phrase it so put him off to the side bumblebee push your head back in take the arms rotate them completely to the back just like that take this uh, fold out this little tab on the inside of the legs right there right there where the wheel is flip that panel down now you're gonna rotate this up and as you do this piece is gonna pop out and then you can see this tab right here where my thumb is you're gonna bring this up oops and I'm spoiling things I'm spoiling things so that piece is gonna rotate up and peg on there then you can fold the tab back up this is going to be your shoulder connector. You can see it's a normal crash combiner connector panel. Bring this up. Clips on. Close that up. You got your torso. You got your arms. Press the button. Boom. And you can see <laughs> this happens a lot. Little Bumblebee's head is on top of Big Bumblebee's head. So push that back down because it's creepy. Again, face is painted fairly decently. Silver, blue eyes, black crest, looks pretty good. There is your torso. You have the connector right here, you have this connector. Boom. Connected. Very simple. Take your side swipe. Transform him back to vehicle mode. Now you can see I'm always lifting this piece up. That's because you're going to want to push that up. Zoom in a bit. This whole lower section rotates out. That is your hand. Rotate the thumb out. You can put this down if you want. Or you can leave it all the way out. That's your call. I like to put it down like that. The robot head. This whole section will go down to cover up that hole. Pull that out, and then again you can see the connection here. That's going to connect right onto here. Um, what is it doing? There we go. Connected. Strong arm. Same exact thing. This lifts up. Black hand piece rotates out. Rotate down your thumb. Rotate down your face piece. Pull that out. There's the connector. Boom. Connected. And here you have Ultra B. We'll go ahead and give him a sword. There is a big slot on the inside of the hand. I know it's going to be impossible to see, but uh, it's there. And this big tab on the sword is going to peg right into it. It's very easy to do. You can even move the thumb out of your way if you... It makes it easier for you. And then you can put it back up. So he looks pretty cool. Um, the hips are a little loose on mine, but they really only go out to the side. They cannot come forward, so that's a bit of a bummer. And then you have that thigh swivel there. Uh, you can move the feet if you wish, but I don't really see what it gets you. 
You can move the arms because that has a swivel. And that's pretty much it for articulation. Doesn't really have too much kibble hanging off the back, which is actually really nice. He's got this little bit from Bumblebee, which I actually think looks cool. And then he's got this kind of butt flap from Grimlock. But it kind of just makes him look like he has a butt. He's got some junk in the trunk. It's Bumblebee for you. But yeah, I kind of like it. I know it's kind of a stupid toy in the way that the individual robots are not that great. The individual vehicle modes are fine. With the exception of Grimlock's dino mode. I think his robot mode is stronger than his dino mode. The others, I think their vehicle modes are stronger than their robot mode. But they at least have one fun mode. And this combined robot is not bad, in my opinion. It shouldn't work, but it kind of does. It's like stupid, dumb, in all the right ways. I don't know how to describe it. I mean, it's just kind of hilarious to see Bumblebee merge with Grimlock, Strongarm, and Sideswipe. Just that alone is kind of hilarious to me. And it's just dumb fun. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just dumb fun. And I think it works. I mean, could it use more pain apps? Sure. Could it use more articulation? Absolutely. Um, but it's okay. What you get is not bad, especially for kids. Young kids are going to love this. It's just simple enough that they're not going to have any problem transforming it. They can combine them together fairly easily. It's just fun. Like, they're going to enjoy the heck out of it. And I enjoy the heck out of it. I Like I said, it's just... It's dumb fun. And on a shelf, it's going to look awesome. I'm just going to have it on a shelf like this, displayed. Looking like a hodgepodge of Autobots, which is awesome. I don't, I don't really know how else to describe it. It's just... I think dumb fun really sums it up. Now, one other thing I want to show off real quick, because it can be done... These connectors are the same as any other connector. So if you have one of the crash combiners, oops, it would be like this. You could do it. Doesn't get you far, but you could do it. It's the same connection. Ah, he's not really fun. Let's try this one, because this one has a spring-loaded gimmick. <laughs> so there you go you can have half a robot hanging off his arm creepy but funny but there you go just to show that the connections the connections are all the same so if you have other crash combiners they all use the same connector ports you could even do something as crazy as take this off pop this guy on here and then it's kind of a I have giant pants situation Oh, let's give this guy some hands. There we go. But you can do it. He's got giant legs. So that's fun. I think that that's also going to give kids another layer of playability because of the mix and match combination possibilities. I mean, this is just super goofy fun. So I appreciate that all the connectors are the same for all the different connection ports. So I don't know what it is, but there's something subtly charming about this toy line of the Combiner Force from Robots in Disguise. When I first saw pictures of them and I saw them in person, I thought they looked really stupid. And I didn't really understand what the point was, and the transformation and the robot modes were so basic and so terrible, and I don't know. But once I have them in hand, they're just stupid fun. I really don't know any better way to describe it. There's just something about them that they're fun to transform back and forth. Maybe because they're so quick and easy, connecting them together, making random combinations is a lot of fun. I don't know how to describe it, but they're kind of infectious. If you buy one, you're probably going to want to buy another one and another one and another one. So I recommend this a lot. I think it's a lot of fun. It's awesome to see four Autobots you're familiar with merge together into a Gestalt robot. I think there's just enough articulation that it's fun of course it could use more paint it could use more articulation but it's still fun it's a fun toy and at the end of the day toys are supposed to be fun i do think it's a little pricey 29.99 seems like a lot with the original crash combiner sets i thought they should have been 10 instead of 15 and i think this set should be 25 instead of 30 i think if all the sets just came down about five dollars i think they'd be right in the price point they should be 
I think that'd be a little bit more reasonable because it is a somewhat hefty toy. I mean, it's about the size of a Voyager class. It's probably not as intricate by any means, but height-wise, size-wise, bulk, sheer amount of plastic, it's about the size of a Voyager. At least it's somewhat comparable. So I feel like 25 would have been okay. Just like I feel like 10 would have been fantastic for the Crash Combiner uh, sets of two. So take that what it is. If you can get them on sale, I think it'd be a lot of fun. But either way, I think you won't be disappointed with this. Just don't go in expecting some amazing, fully articulated toy that you can get all these great poses with. But if you're just looking for a goofy, fun toy that's going to be fun to take apart, transform, and put back together... This will satisfy you, I think. I really do. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share this video, and please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Ultra B from the Combiner Force Transformers Robots in Disguise. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.